fashion is big business. Australia is the second largest consumer of textiles globally next to the United States. The fashion industry is the second biggest polluter in the world, so it's damaging on all fronts. The average Australian purchases about 27 kilograms of clothing each year, and 23 kilograms of that ends up in a landfill. How much fashion is produced around the world? How many garments? It can be upwards of 150 billion garments are produced billion. annually. Billion. And we know the population globally is a little over 7 billion. Right. There's a, it doesn't quite add up. Where's the rest of the 140 billion going? And we therefore think they must be going to landfill, they must be incinerated, they must be being sold on the second-hand market. Most textiles, if we look at what the fibres and the compositions of garments, for example, are made out of, most of it is polyester and cotton, the two most commonly used fibres in the world. And given poly is plastic, uh, if you're looking at poly garments, and they may be blended with the cotton, so the cotton has the natural ability to break down, given it's organic, but polyester therefore will stay around just as long as any other plastic ending up in landfill. The Red Cross has begun forging new creative partnerships to promote a more sustainable fashion industry. One of the things that we have been doing is speaking to some of the institutes that are involved in fashion, some of the universities, some of the colleges, about the programs they offer and encouraging them to work with the charity sector. So I think one of the encouraging things that it does is starts to plant the seed in the next generation of fashion designers' minds about how we deal with this issue of textile waste. During the design process, I think it's really important to think about the lifetime of the garment. So what is going to happen to it after it's been worn? What is the consumer going to do when they've had enough of it or it's broken? This came from some dead stock fabric, random offcuts of fabric that you couldn't really do a lot with, but I ended up making my shorts from them. And with this zero waste pattern, you're developing the garment based on the width of the fabric that you have. So you're using the entire piece of fabric. One, one, one. Clothing should be expensive. It should be. You know, the reason that it's not is because people are being taken advantage of in other countries. Buying a T-shirt for $5 it shouldn't be $5. Somebody else is paying the price. You're not, but somebody else is. Oh.